Right now, CDOT preparing to completely shut down 6th Avenue around I-25 for three days. The closure through this section of I-25 will start a week from this Friday. And 7 News reporter Lindsay Sablon taking a closer look at this expensive project. Lindsay, the goal, of course, is to improve traffic flow in that area. And Mike, that closure of US 6 is going to start at Sheridan and run all the way east to I-25. The project costs $98 million and may cause some traffic headaches now, but ultimately it should be a huge improvement. Every day, 140,000 cars drive this small stretch of 6th Avenue. It may work somewhat now with the current traffic loading, but in 2035 when we're starting to see the traffic increase, it's going to fail miserably. After a five-year study, CDOT has a plan to fix 6th Avenue from Knox Court to I-25. They'll replace six bridges and reconstruct US-6. Essentially, we're going to build this job in two phases. Today, you could see crews preparing for the first phase, which will close 6 from Sheridan to I-25 for three nights. We'll demolish the Knox Court Bridge. Do a partial demolition of the federal bridge. The best way to understand all the changes is to get behind the wheel. A big part of this project is the federal interchange. Right now, there isn't a ramp to get onto 6th Avenue heading eastbound. The new interchange has four ramps, better signage, and an updated bridge. Bryant Street is one of three bridges in this project that's outdated. It's also dangerous. You only have a couple hundred yards to merge onto 6th. All of this will be completely redone. A lot of it is a, a safety oriented project. Really get rid of that wee section, improved operational um, capacity of 6th Avenue. The money for this is going to come from the Colorado Bridge Enterprise Fund and federal funds for bridge replacement. Now, you'll start seeing signs this weekend to remind you of that closure on US 6. Again, that's going to start next Friday, February 7th. Live in Denver, Lindsay Sablon, 7 News.